My name is Katrín Inga Jónsdóttir Hjördisdóttir. Hjördisdóttir. And uh, I'm an Icelandic artist. I live in Reykjavík. Um, and uh, I'm here for uh, Mars Residency in Stöðafjörður, uh, in here. And uh, I'm uh, working on specific project called Land Unoccupied Love or Love Unoccupied Land. When I arrived here, I already had like started on this project back in Paris. So I did a lot like a pre-work on the project. So I knew my direction, but I didn't know what would come out of it. Uh, here in in Stavanger, uh, in 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 here residency, it is um, it's been a, a quite good um, free mind space to to let the creativity kind of take over you, and a so good um, space for work. I'm in a private studio. And it is, um, it has really, it, it has really um, done a lot for my creativity, uh, freedom. So I've been doing this, um, I did this song piece and video and drawing and they are all like, like kind of um, working together. All working together towards becoming a, a kind of a yeah vinyl record with um, drawings, including and a video installation. It is um, a series, and uh, yeah, and this um, a land map drawings are very abstract and then the text in the sound piece um, is very um, scientific so it's all um, it's all stolen um, text stolen from uh, science based theory about love yes and then they the drawings are all inspired by land map drawings or, or navigation but done in a very abstract uh, expressionist way influenced by the sound I do for the piece so yeah so it all in kind of involves in each other and then the video is a uh, uh, site specific video um, where I record myself, um, listen to the track, listen to the sound next to the drawings on a mattress in this case. In Paris it was a bed, but here is a mattress in the studio. And under the blanket and I'm masturbating, so it's like, um, so you can you can maybe feel like um, this specific uh, space that is the mattress is kind of a, the land and I am maybe um, somehow in that land masturbating so yeah and that is kind of a, a love towards yourself maybe a little bit yeah. So it's very interesting, for example, uh, 
for me to be here, very close to the land and like you can really feel like no man's land, you know, you can really walk a little while, you walk for a little while and you just feel the nature and you know compared to Paris you know you walk on the street and maybe there is nobody on the street if you walk um, alone late at night but walking here alone late at night and not seeing anyone you're almost more I, I get more scared you know it's like it's, there's just so much power in the nature and yeah, you can, when you walk alone in the streets, you can feel that you're not walking. You feel like you walk where somebody else has been walking, but here it's like you take a step and you always feel like you're taking the only step. You know, it's weird, weird sensation, but... Just your own step. Yeah, just your own step, yeah, exactly. Temporary insane. 
en í stríðinu bættist sextán formaður en ostroköfnin in both men and women this is the amazing time when you are truly love struck and can think of little else scientists think that three main neurotransmitters are involved in this stage adrenaline dopamine and serotonin I'm feeling so desperate. A chemical reaction of love. A chemical reaction of love. Love. A chemical reaction. Uh, I have before done some uh, sounds for my pieces, but mostly, you know, it worked in collaboration with other people doing a sound. So this is kind of my my first real try to make um, a music in this scale, you know. So so that is quite new. But video and performance, uh, I have done mainly lately, but. Um, but then my graduation piece from a BA was sculpture, so I've done also uh, quite a lot of sculptures and uh, bookworks and uh, and prints. I've done a lot of, yeah, been doing a, quite a lot of prints too, and um, I've done various collaboration work, and then I have also been like. Um, hosting events and uh, uh, and creating like um, a platform or situation like for um, for various venues and um, also a little bit of uh, publication um, yeah all in the name of making uh, visual art um, uh, more seeable for the uh, for the uh, public, or more reachable, you know, and also and making the platform, you know, to to create a more option and and available uh, uh, and uh, uh, more option and um, a possibility for. Um, for artists to develop their their, their art. Uh, because like living in Iceland is quite a small society and art scene, but it's quite big, but but so far it is a lot of um, 
uh, it's a lot of pressure on artists to create their own situation if they want to make something happen. So we don't have so much of um, history or, or, or experience with collaboration with, for example, curators and stuff like that, you know, with so, so much of artist-run spaces and artist-run project done in the visual art name, you know. Um, so, so yes, I, but I have not been doing a lot of residencies, you know, I was studying for, I did my BA in, in, um, in visual art, um, and then I took art theory and, and art history, so I was studying for quite quite a while, I, but I was running maybe gallery and I was um, doing a various collaboration and publication on 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 the you know on on the on the way, and then I did my master. So I haven't really done you know a residency. Uh, until, until you know, until this, until now. Um, apart from the uh, residence in Paris in uh, City de l'Arte. Um, so, so this is like uh, a new chapter in my practice to. Um, to um, intake a residency time and I see, I mean, you know, maybe also when you're studying you, you have, you are in a, in a un continuing residency because you have the space and, and the time to, to develop your practice and once you step out of that zone you need to find a space to continue developing and then the residency comes very Important, they play an important role for that, and um, I can feel it. You know, like I came from the residency in January from Paris, and then as a February, and now as a March. But I already felt like I really needed to get another one. You know, it's like to uh, yeah. So and and I think this residency here in Iceland is one of the best, even though I don't have the experience. But you know, just to know what is available and then this the facilities here and the and the space and, and and this and the place of it and everything is just so so suitable for you know um, uh, for the artist.